Hey everyone, I'm TripYNZ and today I'll be going over the best perks for Warhammer users in New World. Firstly though, I hope you're all having a great New Year's Day and I'll also be trying to show up more on camera in 2022. It's something I've been looking forward to doing, but I have felt that my presentation skills prior to say about now have been lacking, so I keep stumbling over my own words. So that means if I shut the camera, it just looks like a mess. So I'm hoping I can do better in presenting and showing up more in person for the videos, more or less. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get into the video and you'll see me, my mug at the end of the video. Okay, so for this video, I'll be going over the top three perks to use and some honorable mentions for armor, jewelry, and the Warhammer itself. Firstly, when looking at gear, the rarity determines how many perks that that item can have. So an uncommon item can have one perk max and no gem slot. A rare item can have one perk and a gem slot. An epic item can have two perks and a gem slot. So for example, the Warhammer I've got on at the moment. And a legendary item can have three perks and a gem slot. For this video, I will select three perks based on what you'd want to have in the game as you'll have legendary items at some point. But before I get into my recommended perks, I'll show you how to find what items have what available perks. All you have to do is find the item that you want to look at, not the category, but an item, then click on the perks tab and all the available perks will be highlighted. So for example, if we go to weapons, we go to turned weapons, we go to warhammers, and then find just a random warhammer, and then go to the perks list, you'll see that the ones that are grayed out are the ones that cannot be used on this item, and the ones that are highlighted, or ones we can select, like the Ancient Bane here, are the ones that we can use so now let's get into the perks okay so let's start with the warhammer my recommended perks for the warhammer are keen with plagued crits and either thwarting strikes or vicious keen gives you 3 to 11 percent crit chance which is absolutely massive on your abilities while plagued crits reduce healing by 24 percent for six seconds when you crit a target below 50 percent health making it a lot easier to finish them off this also works really well uh, on path of destiny which is massive in wars because it is a big aoe so that with crit obviously works very well together Thwarting Strikes makes you do 3 to 11% more damage when you have active grit. This is great to add damage to your skills with grit like Shockwave or Wrecking Ball, for example. And it is also massive if you are running 300 strength. And Vicious makes you do 3 to 11% more crit damage. As for skill perks, we'll be talking about those on the armor pieces rather than on the weapon because they can go on armor pieces and weapon and... Obviously a lot of things on the weapon cannot go on the armor, which are much better. So it's better to have your skill perks on your armor. So we'll talk about them at that point. The honorable mentions for Warhammer are Rogue, Enchanted, Life Stealing, Keenly Empowered, Keen Speed, Trenched Strikes and Trenched Rend. And obviously there's quite a lot of honorable mentions for this weapon. This just means you have other options. If you're not trying to roll a best in slot, but you're trying to get like a good weapon you've got a lot of other good options here rogue is definitely one of these great options giving you 5 to 19 percent more backstab damage which is amazing but unfortunately in wars a lot of the time you can't get behind them so if you are taking this vicious is just normally better as it is more reliable in wars enchanted is also another great option giving you 5 to 9.5 percent more damage on light and heavy attacks this is great, however, for Warhammer, it is normally a setup weapon, meaning that you just use your skills rather than your like left, uh, your left click spams, so your light and heavy attacks. So you don't normally get a good usage out of this, compared to some of the other perks that you could get. Life stealing is also another good option, meaning that you gain one to five percent of your damage back as health. As the Warhammer hits is a massive AoE on every single ability and also your auto hits can do that as well, this can actually be pretty big in group fights. Kenley Empowered gives you 15% more damage when you crit for 5 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. The only issue with this, even though it does sound really good, is it doesn't stack with 
plagued crits, so plagued anything crit related doesn't stack with each other, so you can't have plagued crits with Kenley Empowered unfortunately, and plagued crits is definitely better in wars. Ken Speed is also another good option, giving you 30% haste for 3 seconds after a crit, so meaning you can be a lot more mobile and this has a 5 second cooldown. Trench Strikes makes your fully charged heavy attacks do 3 to 14% more damage, and Trenched Rend makes your fully charged heavy attacks apply a 14% rend for 4 to 7 seconds. So as you use Shockwave into a heavy attack, both of these can be very powerful options as well. Perks I'll personally be using here for my build are Keen, Plagued Crits and Thwarting Strikes as my job in Wars is to deal with high threat targets so taking them down as fast as possible is a must. And with Thwarting Strikes it is more reliable than Vicious as it is guaranteed on Shockwave and Wrecking Ball so this is the reason I'm taking Thwarting over Vicious. Okay so that was the perks for the Warhammer itself, now let's break down armor. Armor has all the same options whether it is a hat or a chest piece or even if it is light or heavy armor. So for armor my first choice would be refreshing, then resilient and then a skill of your choice. Refreshing is absolutely massive, it lowers your max cooldowns by 1 to 2.8%. As this can be stacked on all armor pieces as well as all jewelry pieces, it really does add up if you can get this on everything. So definitely get this on your armor if you can as well as your jewelry. Resilient is also a big must if you are looking for best in slot as it makes critical hits hurt less by 3 to 4.8% and this can also be stacked on all pieces of your armor. Please note I would also recommend freedom over resilient as it is a lot more OP making stun slows and silences wear off 3 to 7.5% faster per piece. However, it currently doesn't work, so Resilient is the way to go. For skill perks, you'll be wanting to use Leeching Path of Destiny, Sundering Shockwave, and if you are using Wrecking Ball, then Penetrating Wrecking Ball. Leeching Path of Destiny heals you for 10 to 28% of the damage done by Path of Destiny. This is absolutely massive in wars due to its big AoE and can easily fully heal you. Sundering Shockwave makes your Shockwave apply a 5 to 9.5% rend. For 10 seconds which is obviously big as the skill is an AoE. And Penetrating Wrecking Ball makes your Wrecking Ball penetrate 5 to 19% of the target's armor. All of these abilities are AoEs so having these perks is even better as normally you'll be hitting multiple targets with your abilities especially like Leeching Path of Destiny you're normally going to hit a lot of people in wars. Sundering Shockwave can hit multiple people too it depends how many people are stacked close to you and Penetrating Wrecking Ball can be a good way of getting people off you or finishing people as well. My honorable mentions for armor would be any skills that you would like to match with your build or you could future proof by getting freedom though it currently doesn't work. My recommended perks here for armor is refreshing and resilient on every single armor piece and then one of each of the skills that you want to use and just to let you know the skill perks are unique so they do not stack so make sure you've only got one. Okay so that was the perks for armor now let's move on to jewelry. For jewelry we'll start with amulets first and for amulets I would highly recommend divine and health being your musts. Divine makes it so you gain 5 to 9.5 percent more health from all incoming healing effects. This is absolutely massive in wars especially if you're a frontliner this is something you'll always want to take. Health is also the other one that I would make sure you must have and the reason for that is you gain 3 to 9.4 percent more maximum health. This is just free stats the longer you live the more damage and you know more useful you are when you are in fights as well so obviously this is just a must in every single build doesn't matter if you're squishy or tanky. As for the third perk, I would recommend Purify or Refreshing. Purify makes it so you lose all debuffs when you go below 50% health with a 90 second cooldown. This is absolutely massive for survivability. And Refreshing reduces your max cooldowns by 1 to 2.8%, meaning you'll do more damage as your abilities will come up faster. My honorable mentions for amulets would be Fortified Recovery. Fortified Recovery gives you a 10% Fortify for 5 seconds when you are hit below 50% health on a 90 second cooldown. This can be pretty strong if you are running heavy armor with quite a lot of health, meaning you'll get out of some situations where you would have died. My preferred setup here is Health, Divine and Purify. This gives a great amount of survivability and is obviously more optimal if you are in the front line. Obviously you could change Purify with say 
refreshing if you're using Warhammer with say like a life staff or something like that. I use my Warhammer generally with a great axe for reference. Okay, let's move on to rings. For rings, my recommendation is Keen Awareness, Leeching, and Refreshing or Hearty. Keen Awareness is absolutely ridiculous and definitely a must, giving you 3 to 11% extra crit chance. This is something that you cannot scoff over and definitely required on a ring for any build that is doing any sort of damage. Leeching is also another great option, meaning you gain 1 to 5% off your damage back as health. This can be very, very effective as pretty much everything on Warhammer is an AoE, so this can be big in group fights. Refreshing is always useful, giving you 1 to 2.8% cooldown reduction, so faster cooldowns means more damage, more effective use. And Hardy gives you 5 to 9.5% more max stamina, meaning you can dodge an extra time if you're in heavy armor and you don't have the dex perk. So if you're in heavy armor, normally you can only dodge twice. This means you can dodge three times. Honorable mentions here would be Enfeebling and Crippling. Enfeebling is good if you're using Great Axe, making weakens last 5 to 14% longer. This is good when you have the Maelstrom perk. Well, Crippling can be good well, crippling can be good as well due to path of destiny increasing slow duration by 5 to 14 percent another perk that is also really good that i forgot to mention here is sacred because a lot of warhammer users also use life staff so the warhammer is just a safety net or a setup net for them to get around so if you are using life staff obviously sacred's a very good option here too meaning your outgoing healing is increased by 3 to 8.5 percent my perk choices here are keen awareness leeching and hearty so for my build this means i can deal the most amount of damage with the keen perk i can also heal with leeching which definitely helps due to the amount of aoe's in the build as well and hardy means i can get around without dying as much Refreshing is also a very good option, but I prefer Hardy just so I can iframe a few other things here and there with the extra dodge ability. Okay, so now let's move on to the last item, which is earrings. For earrings, I recommend regenerating, refreshing, and refreshing toast. Regenerating is very strong, giving you passive regen of 0.25 to 0.48% per second of your maximum health. So this will save you a lot in battles, just giving you a massive regen over time. So obviously the more health you have, the more effective this is as well. But definitely worth getting as it has saved me a many of times just running around trying not to die in battle. Refreshing is great here as it is the only thing on an earring that can actually increase your damage by lowering your cooldowns by 1 to 2.8%, meaning you can do more damage by getting your cooldowns down faster so you can use more skills and refreshing toast is absolutely busted making your potions cool down faster by 10 to 28 percent so in wars appeared to someone that doesn't have this normally potions take have a 30 second cooldown on a health potion this makes it about 21 seconds it takes down to so it is definitely massive to have Honorable mentions here would be Purifying Toast, Nimble, and Duplicating Toast. Purifying Toast, when you drink a regeneration potion, you lose one debuff. This can be good for surviving. However, Refreshing Toast in general is more reliable as you won't always have a debuff on you. Nimble can also be an incredibly good option, giving you 5 to 9.5% extra stamina regeneration. This is very, very strong for kite builds. So if you are running that 300 strength medium armor, sort of uh, Warhammer Great Axe sort of build, and you rely on I framing a little bit more mix this with hardy and you will have a pretty good combo for eye framing a little bit longer to stay alive and the last perk duplicating toast gives you a 5 to 14 percent chance to not consume a potion when used this can actually be very strong in wars if you get lucky with say a haste potion early on and is generally good around the world even though I don't think as good as the other options but it is a good one if you're not rolling for a best in slot it's still very useful and will save you money of course so my perk choices here are regenerating refreshing and refreshing toast this gives you great survivability and some extra damage through cooldowns so in summary this build allows you to do more damage have faster cooldowns and also have a ton of survivability which is great for all content especially wars I'll also link my build that I use with Warhammer, which is Great Axe Warhammer, down in the description. So if you want to have a look at that, you can check that out as well. I also have a video on Great Axe perks if you're interested in that as well. So I'll link that in the description as well. 
Anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, you did find it useful, please like and subscribe as I will be creating more new world content like this. I also stream over at twitch.tv forward slash tripynz so you can catch me over there as well. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day, night, wherever you are. Peace out.